Okay, chord spacing. Between 1 and 2 is A. Between 2 and 3 is B. Between 3 and 4 is C. Between 4 and 5 is D. Between 5 and 6 is E. A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, this is the Lely Nut. It's dedicated to Pinoy Paracordis uh, companion, a great woman from what he tells me. So, it's a six strand core. Um, when you start the weave, your cords, uh, your weaving cord has to be facing downward. So, um, all setups are different, so it's up to you. All right, so let's begin. Okay, so you're gonna grab your left strand you're going to go from underneath over and down through B with your left cord. And you want your right cord to be above the left one. Okay, so we grab our right strand. We go down D and to the left. Okay, now here's where it gets interesting. You're going to grab your right cord or your left. We could start with that. Um, you're going to come down C and out through the loop on the right. You're going to grab your left strand. You're going to go down C and out your loop on the left. Now, here's where the pull gets interesting. You're going to grab this portion of the cord and pull from the bottom part. Push it up and then pull the slack. Tighten it up good. Okay, now you grab your right strand. You're gonna go down D and pull it up and to the right. You're gonna grab your left strand, you're gonna go down B, pull it up and to the left. And then we'll start the knot. That's our first knot, a little difficult, but we'll get it. All right, so once again, we grab our left strand, we're going to go down B and to the right. And remember, it's going to be below the one on the right. Grab our right strand, we're going to go down D and to the left. And like I said, for this part, you could go either side, go left or right, under all your cords and out the loop on the right. And you grab your left strand, you go down C, and out the loop on the left. And once again, you're going to pull from this part on the bottom side. Then pull the slack. Okay, let's do one more. We're gonna grab our right strand. We're gonna go down D and up and to the right. We're gonna grab our left strand. We're gonna go down B, up and to the left. Depends on how tight you do it, uh, you're going to either have a gap or you don't. It's going to be, you're going to always have a little gap, but it's up to you. So let's start again. You're going to grab our left strand. You're going to go down B and to the right. You're grab our right strand. You're going to go down D and to the left. In my case, I'm going to grab my right strand. I'm going to go down C, 
under all the chords and out the loop on the right. I'm going to grab my left strand, I'm going to go down C and out the loop on the left. And here's our pull again. I tend to do this. I tend to grab all the chords and then pull the slack. That gives it a tighter look. And don't forget to try to get these things even. And we'll do one more. I'm gonna grab our right strand. I'm gonna go down D, up, and to the right. I'm gonna grab our left strand. We're gonna go down B, up, and to the left. Okay, nice and tight. And then we do our knot again. We have our left strand, we're going to go down B, and to the right. I'm going to grab our left strand, we're going to go down D, and to the left. Okay, in this case I'm grabbing my right strand, down C, pull it, and out the loop on the right. Grab my left strand, down C, under all the chords, and out the loop on the left. And here's our pull again. Nice and tight. And then, like I do, grab all the strands, and then I pull. Grab all of them. Pull the slack, even it out, and you're ready to do another one. So I'm just going to start you out. Right strand, down D, up and to the right. Left strand, down B, up and to the left. And that's our knot. Take it to the end. Have fun.